This is ABC 15 News. There's no way somebody could survive that accident. It's hard to imagine walking away from a scene like this. We showed you the video yesterday as rescues work to free a valley teen from a car trapped underneath a truck. But amazingly tonight, less than 24 hours later, that teen is already out of the hospital and back home. Thanks for choosing us tonight. I'm Katie Rammel. And I'm Steve Irvin, only on ABC 15. Mike Pelton speaks with the 17-year-old and shows us what he believes helped keep him alive. And right when he hit me, I kind of like balled up until like I like brought my knees to my chest. A day later, the memories are still fresh. And I just felt like stuff falling and I heard like crashing and stuff. It may not look like it, but 17-year-old Kamari Brown was trapped in his car near 20th Street and Baseline yesterday afternoon. Tires like right here by my head. Police say a large truck crossed the center line and hit Kamari head on, pinning him underneath. The first thing I did was move my toes to see if I was paralyzed. A small smile as Kamari tells me he's grateful to be alive. And as for the other driver, police say they're testing for drug impairment. There's no way somebody could survive that accident. Kamari's mom, Renee, is still in shock over the crash that required rescue crews and extrication, but left Kamari with just a few scrapes. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Kamari tells me he prays and is close to God. Because of that, his aunt gave him a chain with the Lord's Prayer written on it when he graduated high school in May. I wear it every day. This is what Kamari thinks helped keep him alive. In Phoenix, Mike Pelton, ABC 15 News.